Three, two, one, let's get it. Hi, fairy friends. How are you this morning? Excellent. I'm doing good. All right. So far, I've pulled the Queen of Wands. Uh, excuse me. The Queen of Wands, Judgment, and the King of Wands. So I think we're getting some messages from the Most High, okay? Yep, from the stars, from the star goddess. A message. Something about don't worry about what's been stolen from you because... You're going to get it all back from the gods, okay? Does that make sense? From the stars and stuff, okay? From, from the goddess, right? So, sometimes... Ooh, look. This is going to be you. This is my sitting pretty card. Ooh, this is you sitting pretty after you stop giving a fuck, okay? No, this is you... Si judgment, stop giving a fuck. This is you sitting pretty after you took a leap of faith. Look at that. You got to have some... You got to have a big one for what you're going to have to do. Gotta have a big one, okay? And baby, you got it. <laughs> if you don't got it in body, you got it in spirit. All right, baby, you got it. <laughs> You've been doing good. You've been being you're being led through the darkness, okay? Just li just listen, listen, listen. It's like that that Raven's Towner. Okay, listen. Take a half step to the right. Now move your arm to the left. Now raise your elbow just a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's that's your spirit guide right there. Excuse me. Maybe this is how you've been feeling? Maybe this is a church? Let's see. Are you running to it or from it? Some place of worship. That looks like a place of worship to me, but... It could also be like an old-timey um, house, house dead, I guess. Like, old-timey houses, like... Um, Lords and ladies and shit had stained glass, did they? You probably know better than me. Oh, the lovers. So look, you're running, you're running towards. Oh, because your lover's inside there. Whatever that whatever that building is, your lover is in there, okay? I don't know what it is. Maybe it's a church. I think church because it's stained glass, but it might not be. Or a temple or a mosque or a, something, something like that. Look. There you are again, taking a leap of faith. I don't know. What are you doing? Is this a situation where, like, you maybe um, walked away from a spiritual community? I pulled on this a little bit. Walked away from a spiritual community. Maybe you're, like, a witchy kind or more spiritual anyway. Or maybe you're a mystic. You know what I mean? Like, um... Like, you could study Sufism, or you could study Kabbalah, or, um, you know, you could be more of, you, more into, like, uh, Bhaktism, Bhakti, you know, um, no, excuse me, Shaktism, my mistake. You could be more into Shakti and Shaktism as opposed to, like, um, is it Vishnite religion, Vishnite worship? Our Hindu friends hopefully know what I'm trying to get at, but you, you see what I'm, what I'm getting at, like, like, you're just different, <laughs> right? You know, like everybody's going to the temple, worshiping the creator God. Here you are sitting in the cemetery contemplating, you know, the mysteries of death and that kind of thing. Like you're just different, right? You know, you're, you're, you're different. Um, so, but you might be getting called back because... If I'm reading, this isn't going to be for everybody, okay? Not everybody's interested in going back and reconnecting with any old faith community. Not everybody's interested in, you know, and that's fine. But I'm picking up, if this is some kind of religious community, it's looking like they're in some kind of, like, they could be having money problems, too, is what it's looking like. There could be a lot of internal conflict for, like, for, like, the administration, over it's over money they don't have a lot of money i don't know if there's something you're gonna do or something you're gonna say or a point you're gonna make that you know maybe it's gonna be a triumphant return we do pull the six of wands a lot on this channel so this could be like a type of um triumphant return, you know, where once you were the outcast and now you're the messiah, right? Like, or a messiah. I don't, my pagan ass, I don't exactly 
treat the term Messiah as like a, a one and only kind of thing, like Christ consciousness. It says in the, in the Gnostic Gospels, for those of you who are interested, um, heavily influenced by Eastern religions, by the way, the Gnostic Gospels were, so definitely worth a read. Um, Yeshua, Yeshua said to his disciples, in the Gnostic go versions of the Gospels anyway, that uh, with enough faith, you will become like him. You'll become like Yeshua himself. Like you two, you will become identical, right? Like you'll be able to do the same stuff. Like one apostle came, there's a story, apostle came up to him. Remember, this is Gnostic Gospels, okay? Apostle came up to him talking about, uh, the people want to know if I can pray for him and stuff. Like the people want to know if I can like preach and pray for him and stuff. And Jesus is like, oh, you're asking, you're asking, why are you, why, you're asking me. Have I taught you nothing? You know, have I taught you nothing? Why are you asking? Go, do it, do it, do it, you know, <laughs> do it. <laughs> he was annoyed. He didn't like it when they constantly came up and asked him permission. Can I, can I heal these people? Can I pray these people? Can I do the, can he didn't like that. He thought that meant they had no faith. He's like, seriously, after everything I've showed you, after everything I've taught you, after everything I told you, you're still asking me if you can be a prophet? Come on. He didn't have time for it. He didn't have time for it. Right? So this could be you. Like, you could be stepping into Christ consciousness. You could be stepping into Buddha consciousness. You could be, um, shit, stepping into Kali consciousness, right? Like, it's all interwoven. Uh... Or, no, there's, what is it, in, um, Moksha, baby. Burnt out, though. You're feeling burnt out. Or these could be these people, too. They're burnt out. They're just burnt out. They need a, a breath of fresh air. They really need, look at how, how closeted. Look at how, like, they're just, ugh, that's so claustrophobic. Like, they, they're burnt out. They need fresh ideas. But here's the question, Okay. You come back, you share your wisdom, are they going to accept it? That's the thing. Are they going to accept it? I see the emperor and I see the devil. I see the ace of pentacles. So somebody's going to be tempted to sell you out. What I tell you, I'm going to call this messianic consciousness is for everybody. <laughs> Because I know there's a Messiah type figure like in his, oh it's Diwali by the way Happy Diwali everybody last night was a Kali was the Kali Puja I know I didn't find out until like the last minute but it's okay because I was up at like 3 a.m. and I memorized some Kali mantras so I just said some mantras like in pitch black I'm talking about no candles lit I was scared I thought ghosts were in my house I but I didn't care because I'm with because I'm with Ma you know what I mean I'm with Mom I'm with Kali Ma right so like of course they're gonna come. Page of Pentacles. You're something about a money making idea. You might help these people ex like expand their minds a little bit so that they can <coughs> get some revenue going. But anyway, yeah, I had this intense feeling like, oh, you know, like spirits were trying to like spook me or stuff. Like I get to have an intrusive thoughts, and I was like, mm, what do I care? Like, of course, the dark spirits are gonna. I'm singing. I'm praising Kali Ma, right? Like. She's the only goddess that these spirits probably even feel comfortable approaching. And they know that, expect powerful change. And they know to approach to come correctly because... <laughs> She'll fucking devour them if they don't, right? So this is the kind of strength you need to step into, okay? If they don't want to take your message, then... Then they'll just get devoured. Believe in the impossible... So yeah, people will fuck with you. People will listen. And what do you need to release? I always get don't let your past hold you back. So that's probably it. Don't let pride get in the way either. Okay, so... It's one of them situations where, you know... Don't be like an I told you so kind of thing. I'm picking up a little bit of that just right off the bat. Like, see, I told you, Sam blah, blah, you needed to expand your minds. You know, I told you, you blah, blah, blah. Like, don't do that. 
Yeshua never did that, so don't do that. <laughs> um, also, um, I'm picking up a time to give rather than take. Yeah, okay, excellent. All right, that's my confirmation. I'm on the right track. I'm all. I'm also picking up. I'm just gonna hold this up. I'm also picking up that um, wounded pride. Wounded pride. Okay. So if this was like a congregation or a coven or um, a, a temple that like where you got like a con I'm just gonna say a congregation, you know any 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 spiritual community is a congregation. If this is a congregation where you felt like pushed out, um, don't let your wounded pride hold you back. Okay, it's time it's time to give. It's time to give rather than take. Okay, it's time to give. Time to give a little forgiveness. What else do we got? So yeah, definitely put... Don't let your past hold you back. <laughs> Don't let your past hold you back, okay? So yeah, messianic consciousness is for everyone. It is universal. Wow, there's a shit ton of birds. It is universal, right? Um, wow, don't let your past hold you back. Don't let your past hold you back. Okay, we're going to put that up there. It is a universal phenomenon, okay? It can strike anybody at any moment without warning. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> Maybe it can. <laughs> um, but usually you got to work really hard for it. What are these birds doing? You guys. Oh, I can't roll my window down. What are they eating? These birds are the fuck everywhere, you guys. Aww. Don't let your past hold you back. I don't know why Ten of Pentacles came out. Let's see. Don't let your past hold you back. Okay, somebody's in their head over familial expectations. It's always, if it's not money, it's family. I swear, if it's not money, it's family. Somebody feels like they ought to choose. Do they go their own way or do they go, <laughs> do they follow the path that was stretched out before them? Here's your path. Take your path. Maybe I don't want to take my path. Well, maybe I don't. Maybe I want to forge a new path with my fucking magic. This is also Virgo energy, by the way. Virgo Gemini. Somebody don't like that idea. Somebody don't like that. Somebody's watching close to make sure somebody. Oh, man, they don't like that idea. They're keeping an eye on you or this person. Talking about, oh, are they making a move? Oh, are they doing, you know. Three of cups. They could even be doing magic. Ace of cups on your love life. Ace of wands on your professional life. Justice. But that is going to backfire really fucking bad. Ace of pentacles because... As compensation for every, for all your setbacks, you're getting, you're receiving the Ace of Pentacles. Remember the Ace, yeah, for all of your setbacks, you're receiving the Ace of Pentacles. Don't ask why did I get the Ace of Pentacles, because of all them setbacks is why you got, is why you're getting the Ace of Pentacles. Now remember, this can be a legit windfall. This can be like, oh wow, money. This can also be a million dollar idea, baby, okay? You're like, yes. It's a million dollar idea, baby. Emperor, right there. Emperor. He's falling back into place. Doom, 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 doom. Somebody's breaking with tradition hard. Somebody's breaking with tradition. Mom is calling as it moves. 
moves in waves because she's falling back into place. Somebody's a wreck without you, girl. Mine is calling as it moves in waves. Another fallen angel. This is all. Look. That cup. Look at that. How much you want to bet? That's the ace of cups right there. That cup. How much you want to bet? That cup. I fucking love tarot, you guys. <laughs> that cup is this cup, baby. Look. And the little... I almost call them the little critters. And the little characters res almost resemble each other. Like, this one... This one kind of looks like a who. Right? Like a who from Whoville. But you know what's so funny about that? In Greek mythology... Anyway, and I'm sure in other mythologies, I'm sure in other pantheons all across the world. Um, um, but in Greek mythology, in particular, from what I remember, the gods are shapeshifters, right? So, like, there's, there's a story where the queen goddess, okay, Hera, right? The queen of heaven, okay, comes down to earth. And she'll come down to earth as like a kind of like a gnarled old, old homeless lady, you know, like somebody you wouldn't respect way past her childbearing ages. So, you know, what fucking use is that? You know, youthful beauty gone, you know, riches where so she'll come in this guise and she'll see how people treat her. She's infamous for this. All the gods are infamous for this. They will come in these in these human forms that are um, disfigured, that are disabled, that are aged, that are basically any and everything that's the exact opposite of whatever the beauty standard, whatever the standard is. And woe unto you if you fuck that one over. Right? Like, like, no joke. Woe unto you if you fuck that one over. So, why did I go off on that tangent? Because I think that's what's happening here. I think this one and is this one. I think these are the same. Am I making sense? Can you see my eyes? I look like one of those, um... I look like one of those decorations on the bug trap on, on people's trucks. You ever see that? It's like the nose and the hands. That's me. <laughs> sorry <laughs> okay anyway um yeah i'm thinking this one is this one and this cup is this cup okay and what is he wanting more than anything boom he's probably born or you sometimes i feel like i'm playing on a divine masculine but you or somebody out here was probably born, because this is the Ten of Pentacles, born into this. You were born into wealth, maybe. If you weren't born into wealth, then, then this is somebody around you, okay? <laughs> uh, sorry, sometimes people get in the comments like, this isn't right, that's not right. It's like, bitch, I read for over 2,300 people. You know, somebody, sometimes somebody's narrative will take precedence over everybody else's because they just need to hear it anyway somebody was born into this they were born into the ten of pentacles they were born into wealth they were born into stability they were born into prestige they were born into love ostensibly okay we'll pull on that they were born into this they want more than anything in their life this See the difference? Ideally, you have both. Ideally, you have the Ten of Cups, and then you achieve the Ten of Pentacles. Somebody was born into the Ten of Pentacles. They want, desperately with the Four of Cups, they want the Ten of Cups. Okay? They'd rather have nothing and be madly in love than have everything and just be cozy okay all right another fallen angel another fallen angel 
because she's falling back into place. You're falling back into place. Mime is calling. Yep. Ah! You're falling back into place. <laughs> Somebody does not want to hear this. <laughs> Somebody is going to be going back. Somebody is like Somebody is like a messiah for like their home or their community or I pulled on this a long time ago. It, it was always part of the plan. I pulled, God, what reading was it? It was probably last year. It was always meant to be this way. It was always part of the plan for somebody out there. Okay. That, 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 that you would return. It was always meant to be that way. You were supposed to go out into the world. You were supposed to struggle so that you could learn. You were supposed to um, study different ways and things like that. And then now you're going to be called. You're, you're being called back home to be a leader, right? To be a spiritual guide. To be an anointed one. That is truly what Messiah means. If I take... Some of my, because I have two types of oil. I have uncrossing oil or unhexing oil. All right. That stuff smells beautiful. And I have anointing oil. If I take a drop of that anointing oil and boop, put it on your head. Well, you're an anointed one now, are you not? Because I, I literally anointed you. Like I took my anointing oil and went boop and put it on your head. So now you're an anointed one. Technically, now you're a messiah. Okay. That's why I don't just splash that anointing oil around on everything. I don't. I'll put the uncrossing oil on somebody real quick. Because all the uncrossing oil... all oh, listen. Like being relieved from hexes and curses is, is just a simple little job. <laughs> um, I'll let anybody get a dab of that uncrossing oil for sure. It's funny because it's called uncrossing oil. But I actually make a Celtic cross with it on the forehead. <laughs> anybody. Maybe your lover needs that. Anybody. Um, anybody can have that. Like, you know what I mean? It's like the spiritual equivalent. It's a gift from the goddess. It's like a spiritual equ equivalent of, um, like an antibiotic or something, right? Like, like, of course, of course you can have, you, I can put that, but the anointing oil, that doesn't just get on everybody. That don't just get on everybody. I've only put that on myself and my children. That, that don't just get on everybody. Because not everybody's got what it takes to be an anointed one. Some people are too fucking scared. Some people are just, some people would make amazing anointed ones, but they're too fucking scared that they're going to piss off their God and be blasphemy and, okay. <laughs> so they don't, you know. But yeah, you, you're coming in strong. Uh, you are coming in, um, unshakable. Your faith in yourself needs to be unshakable for the job that you're getting called to do. Okay. Your faith needs to be unshakable. All right. For you, in order, this says, don't let your past hold you back, okay? Your faith needs to be unshakable, right? Don't think it's going to be like, oh, I'm never going to question myself. Like, you might have, like, a sickening feeling in the pit of your stomach. Like, I know I get it. I get it all the time because I care. <laughs> um, that feeling in the pit of your stomach, like, oh, my God, am I really, you know, am I really leading the people? Like, am I, am I really in the light? Am I really in the truth? Am I really, you know doing this and you might you might struggle you might yourself struggle with that too like am i really doing what i meant to do prosperity lies ahead that's how you're gonna know i'm not into that prosperity gospel stuff the fuck at all but seriously i'm not into it the fuck at all um however <laughs> This is how you're going to know um, when you're in your north node, so to speak, okay? Because you, you, you will find that you are, you are taken care of, 
right? You're not just given what you need to get by. Like you are, you, you, you are taken care of because you have a job and it makes sense because you have a job to do. You and your loved ones are safe. Med just meditate and contemplate. Okay. You need to be going within right now because those are where the answers you need. The answers you need are coming. So meditate and contemplate. Um, don't worry about it's time to give rather than take. Yeah. Don't worry about um, about being productive. You and your loved ones are safe. So don't worry about being productive, right? Nothing is yet set in stone. So you're going to change a lot of hearts and a lot of minds. Take time to breathe out. You are going to change a lot of people's hearts and minds about some things, about some ideas that they probably held very, very, very dear to them. Like, like this was it, you know, there's no way they could ever entertain an outside idea. That kind, like, like that kind of thing. I don't know if other cultures have this, other religions have this issue. I think it's mostly the Abrahamic family of religions, so... Uh, Jews, Christians, Muslims have this um, idea. Uh, it's called, well, from a Christian standpoint, they call it biblical infallibility. You know what biblical infallibility is? Every fucking thing in the fucking scripture is the fuck the truth, is the fuck the right, and you have the fuck to follow it 100 the fuck percent or you're fucking up. That's biblical infallibility. You know what's so funny about that, though? There are so many books that are not included in the canon. I don't know so much about Islam, but I know Judaism has an apocrypha, and Christianity sure the fuck does. Christianity most definitely has. I talk about the Gnostic Gospels all the time. You know, so it's like you've got a group of people who are... Forcing themselves to literally believe every single word of ancient scripture. However, they're not good. They're not also they're not allowing themselves to have the full picture. Right? So if you're gonna believe in scriptural infallibility, then it probably would behoove you to have collected all of the scriptures, right? It's just the way so that you can read because it says a lot of different things. Like all the scriptures say a lot of different things. This is something our Hindu friends know a lot about. <laughs> there is a lot of scripture in Hinduism. A lot. And uh, I'm sure it says very radically different things, you know. But... As far as I know, and I could very well be wrong, as far as I know, there really haven't been a whole lot of wars fought over which scripture is the one true scripture in Hinduism. Like, they don't, they don't, they don't fight over that kind of thing. I, I, I could be wrong. Please put it, put it in the comments, you know. But, um, Because they don't limit themselves, right? Like, there was never a, a collection of Brahmins that said, okay, these are the only scriptures and everything else has to be burned. That's literally what, in particular, the Christians did. Like, literally. Like, okay, these are the only gospels that anyone's allowed to believe in. You need to fucking burn everything else. Oh, and by the way, you have to believe literally when something's given you as scripture, you have to fucking believe it literally. That's why we want those other scriptures to fuck burn. Because... We don't want people to have a choice in their infallibility. <laughs> so this is the kind of mindset you're working with. <clears throat> you're going to be helping people expand. I don't know why, but that pentacle is really important. Maybe that's the ace of pentacles. Um, you are going to um, be helping people. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. To expand their, their consciousness. You're going to help people grow in their like, in their faith, right? Like, you're going to help people grow in their spirituality. Simply by... 
just speaking with them about the things that you've learned and the things that you've seen and the things that you've experienced, right? Like this is all part of it, right? This is all part of it. The King of Pentacles, the King of Cups. Oh, the King of Pentacles is not currently the King of Cups. Okay? So... And if this is something that's maybe been holding you and your and your soulmate or your divine counterpart back is the fact that you two are ostensibly so different, you're going to bridge that gap with your wisdom. Yeah. With your love. He loves you. Oof, but he's in a bind about it. Oh my God, he's in a bind about it. Yeah. He's just trying to heal. This could be you too. Yeah. Just trying to figure out the next move to heal. Trying to figure out the next move. What can he do? This could be you walking away. This could be him walking away from tradition because it's no longer serving his purpose, okay? So you might help him through that. Page of Swords, yeah. Ah, you two could run off and start your own little spiritual community. I don't know. Okay. I'm going to have to end this quick. So you're the one he wants. He's the, he's, he's the Mary Magdalene to your Yeshua, right? Like he's. Oh my God, you're helping him too. It's almost as if his spirit guides are communicating to you so that you can help him overcome whatever. So you can help him face down this dragon, okay? Whatever this dragon is, whatever this beast is, uh, excuse me, something that's gotten out of hand in his life. But yeah, you're coming back, spiritually speaking anyway, so that you can work with maybe his guides or maybe you two share a spirit guide. So that you can help him face down whatever this dragon is, okay? Any last words about the community situation? Any last words about the community? Justice, law, yeah, balance, yeah. So, a homecoming, it looks like. Yeah, people are watching intensely. People are watching. People are waiting for you. Like, people are watching to see if you're coming back. And I think they want you to. So. Alright. Well I'm going to let this one go. Um, I hope this made sense. Please pop down any um, comments or anything. Uh, I hope this made sense. Uh, if you would like a personal reading. They're $44 for an hour. I can do it like Zoom or Google Meets. Or I can uh, just shoot a video file. And upload it and mail it to you. And then you can just have that reading for if you need to reference it. Also, um, I have another YouTube channel that I am not using at all. So I set up this Gmail, Green Fairy Tarot. The Gmail is not connected to this, to this YouTube channel, okay? Because <laughs> when I started this one, I didn't know what I was doing with it. So then 